what happens at the end of it? So, um, have you heard of the peak end rule? Yes, I have actually. Yeah, this is one one time I do actually have a bit of knowledge, but you'll explain it better than me. Go on. <laughs> so the peak end rule is a, a psychological phenomenon, which is that from an event there are two bits that stand out. One is the emotional peak of that event, and one is the end of it. So think about a play or a film or, or anything like that. Um, so with a lesson, it's, I think it's because of this, it's really, really important that we consider the end. We don't just have people finish, bell goes off you go, but that we plan uh, and finish this lesson really, really nicely with, with positivity, with students being good about themselves, um, with behaviour being just as tight as it was as they entered the room. So just, it's not, oh great, you're all going now, off you rush, you know, get out of here, you're no longer my concern. That, they'll remember that for next lesson and, and you know, you shoot yourself in, in the foot there a bit. So one of, one of two things here, and, and, and this particular lesson ended with a cliffhanger around like, this is the question, this is the answer, what could the question have been? With a clear link to, um, to factorising that, that's coming up. But verbally, I'm piling the praise on, on the kids at this point. You came in, you couldn't do this, you've shown me, look at this work, look at this book, look at that. I want to make them feel really, really good about themselves because they, in this case, they did work really, really hard. It's not, it's not, it's not praise that hasn't been earned. Um, and, I'm, and those routines are going to be slick. They're going to leave their desk really, really tidy. They're going to be standing behind their chairs. Their uniform's going to be perfect. They're leaving row by row um, because next time they see me, that's the last yeah. thing they remember yeah. from from me. Um, so that's really, really important. So <laughs> in this case, it, it was a it was a a cliffhanger teaser. There's no reason why it couldn't be an exit ticket. However, if, if by this point in the lesson, I don't know if kids can expand a single bracket, I've done something wrong. Um, so I might I might do it to make them reflect on how good yes. they've been. Yes. Remember at the start, we spoke about this being the thing we need to do today. I want you to have a go at it. And I've seen that work best, or I've, I've preferred doing that myself when, it, when it's, it's been printed out on a slip. And they've handed it to me as they've left. So they can get a nice thank you from me. Well done. Off you go. Da -da 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 -da. And I will, I will flick through them at the end of a lesson, being pretty confident that 95% are correct. Um, maybe one or two need a little comment on just because just of something that, that I've not picked up on. Um, but yeah, that exit ticket is mostly when used for them. It's not me to assess their learning. It's it's not it's not me to say, great, they can all do this and never need to talk about it ever again. It's more for them to feel successful um, than, than anything else. Interesting. That's okay. So a couple of reflections. Firstly, I, I love the peak emerald. The only reason I knew that, by the way, is because I'm audio booking um, moments by Chip and Dan Heath at the moment. They all they love this peak emerald. So that, that's that's fresh in my head. So that's <laughs> why I appeal is slightly knowledgeable. Second thing, I alluded to this earlier on, the end of the lesson will be typically where I'll ask the, what I call the core question. So that thing I planned at the very start, which is the question I want every single kid in the class to, to get right. Uh, the mistake I made in the past, and I, I don't think we mentioned this at the start actually, is that the last question I used to ask kids was always a challenge question. And it was, again, it was just a disaster because the kids left feeling crap. And I left with quite like, feeling like I, I felt a bit crap, to be honest with you. Or, well, actually, there's two sides of this. I either, if I was honest, I felt a bit crap because only two kids had got it right. But actually, if I tell the truth, I'd come out of that lesson saying to my colleague, you'll never guess the question I asked at the end. And <laughs> yeah. you got this right. And like, what a great teacher I am. It doesn't matter about the other 28 kids who didn't have a bloody clue and left that, you know, room feeling yeah, less yeah. successful. So what I tend to do now is end with, as I say, this core question, bring it right back down. And I like that. I'd never thought of this before, that actually this is more for them than me. And I think that's because my checks for understanding are still not as good as they need to be. I still want that final bit of data from the kids, but I like that, that actually it's more for them to feel successful. Look where we've come. I, I really like that. Um, I'll just ask one more thing, then you can reflect on any of this. Just your exit ticket, Craig. I'm, I'm intrigued. Again, Sometimes they can be really faffy, right? Sometimes it's a whole school policy that is just, it's just done for the sake of doing it. I just wonder what yours look like. And yeah, just practically, how much workload does it add to you in terms of creating them, handing them out and, and marking them? So if I reflect back to the last time I was a, I was a proper teacher, which was at, at King Solomon um, Academy. So one, extra tickets, like you say, that, that, we would have it as a similar principle around that, that core question. 
which means it's vital for your planning process that you've mm. considered it. So it's not adding extra yeah. time in yeah. terms of what the question should be, because your lesson's depending on it anyway. And then it's a bit of printing. And you, um, yeah, so it wasn't that much bad. You, you, you know, you print four to a page, grab a guillotine, you don't hand it back to kids for them to yeah. stick in. You don't do any of that. Like, you can take them all in. You can tick and you can hand it back to kids. You, or, I, you know, you hand back the two that have a little correction on. Um, if you haven't got yours, yours back, it's because you absolutely mm. smashed it. Well done. Mm. If you have got it back, it might be on your desk or, or, or whatever. So it shouldn't be a massive uh, burden. Um, but we were doing lots of printing back in those days anyway, so maybe it was just part of the, the lots of booklets and work packs and all this stuff. So it was just... It wasn't much added on. I can appreciate someone that wasn't isn't printing at all, how it might then feel like an extra burden. But it, it was part of our, of our work flow. At, at, well, where, at that where's time the anyway. argument against sacking off the printing and just like kind of stopping the lesson with two minutes to go, putting a question on the board that's the core question and, and kind of mini whiteboard in it or diagnostic questions A, B, C, D? What? Why? what you very rarely see this, though, yeah. right? Like, I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't get why that yeah. final question has to be. Apart from, and I don't think it saves time because, you know, like you're still going to hand out these bloody tickets. So why not just kind of project a question up? I just, again, I just, I don't see it that often. And it just strikes me as that would be the obvious thing to do because you're getting that data straight yeah. away then without having to flick through. I, I don't know, unless I'm missing something. I wonder, I wonder if some people just want to feel yeah, different. Possibly. The, um, yeah, I think there is. Um, and, and last thing I was going to say, Craig, you were kind of nodding away with just to make me feel a bit better. Have you done that with like the end? Last question was the hardest question. <laughs> have, you, have you been there with that? Have you? Yeah, madness, yeah. isn't it? I, I, yeah, I, I think I think the way to think about it is as like a like a gym session. You know, they start up, they start with a with a warm up, they end with a cool yeah, down. Same as your lesson. Good. There are parts of that session that you're going to feel awful uh, through if, if you're working really, really hard. That's not how you want to end. You want to end with that endorphin high, that, yeah, that oh, yeah. I can stretch. Oh, maybe it happened really, really good today. Um, so yeah, I think there's, there's some similar. That's good, right. Well. <laughs>